It's a Friday today, but it's still a work day, and nothing beats the Bangkok morning rush like a bike ride. First stop, Roots. And the best thing about cafes in Bangkok is the 16 ounce L size orders that you can get. I'm gonna be setting up here for the next few hours until it's lunchtime. Honestly, the best seat in the house. I can't get mad or bored over the smells and the sights of the baristas just pulling coffee shots one after another. We also took the time to have a chat about our careers and bounce ideas off each other. The branch we visited was the one at the market level at the Commons. The Commons is where you can come for the food and the vibes. I would recommend you coming here to check out some of the live music, they also have a wine bar. Being here at night is a completely different vibe and definitely worth the visit. Now it's time for lunch and we're getting cooked in the process. Haven't been here myself but Jamin has and the steak is really good from the sounds of it. And it's time to dig in. After lunch, we split because she had a meeting and I took a quick detour and went to get lost in Kino. Also came across some books that I thought to be good reads. Flipping through this book really made me miss Japan. Well, maybe next year. Also stumbled upon the book that I was currently reading. <laughs> I have a feeling it's not the same. It's the last box. They have the ladies edition. She said they had the last two so I went in and got both. We walked around a little bit more with our friend Shu and bumped into more new friends. We found ourselves trying out the famous Mill Toast House. Back in KL, the line for this gets till 45 minutes and we just happen to see it here. The bingsu was really good but Shu had difficulties in the topping station. <laughs> Oh, 
She also couldn't figure out the syrup station, but at least she's consistent. We went back for a quick change and now we're out looking for dinner. And on the menu tonight, Somsak Bu Op, which is just gong, shrimp, and bu, crab, or bun sen, which basically means vermicelli baked in a small pan. Seafood is freshly prepared before cooking in one of these four pans. We were so hungry, I forgot to record much of the food before we ate it. This is uncle who's been operating this place for 26 years and came to check on the food as we were his last customers for the night. Best way to end the night with a full tummy. Today's plans is to head out to Siam Square to shop, but with what energy, right? This energy, duck noodles from Tang Sui Heng. We got one of each, the dry one, the soup one, and of course, the clay pot braised up. It was so good, we got a second one. Quick caffeine alignment and a short break before heading the shop. This is a fun area that carries a mix of old and new Thailand. Quirky stores and everything you can think of to buy. Stores around here also carry a lot of local designers and styles that are in trend.
The last time we were here, the photo booth wasn't working, so it's today instead. Make sure you check it out and spend your time looking through all the small things. I made a quick detour to Freak before leaving, just so I could get more collectibles. Short little detour back to M Quartier for a birthday party unlike any other. Couldn't help ourselves with a coffee and some donuts. If my friends don't sing like this for me on my birthday, I don't want it. Had some Minecraft cake pops. Bumped into some cool guys on the way to dinner. This guy was especially cool. And for dinner tonight, we're having Sombun seafood. We arrived a little bit later and they told us that they sold out of the crab with roe, but we still had a great dinner. We ended the night unboxing the stuff we got and also got a last minute raw marinated seafood order in. See you next time!